In today's video, we're gonna see a guy in Chicago with one of the most elaborate and scammy parking boot schemes you are likely to ever see. And no, he's not talking about Goat Boy. Goat Boy would not be smart enough to come up with this. But this could be the type of scam that frauditors embark on since we are winning this fight. Yeah, welcome back into the channel, guys. Thanks for joining me here on a weekend. It is uh, July 6, 2024. And today's video is a gentleman out of the greater Chicago Naperville area who decided he was going to take parking, booting, and scamming into his own hands. And this one, predictably, does not end well. Let's check it out. They hide around corners and in mall parking lots and swoop in to boot the wheels on cars of unsuspecting motorists. Police say it's all a scam to get fast cash. Two investigator Dave Savini exposes an alleged illegal operation that preyed on people from Chicago to the suburbs. That's funny. Sounds a lot like the court paperwork and how we've heard uh, dumbwaiters construction business runs. Where did you find the boot? Um, it's right here. Truck drivers and motorists in passenger cars and vans get booted. What tire did he boot? Uh, it was the left rear. Tires and wheels immobilized by this man, James Chard, an alleged thief running MC Parking, who preys on vehicles parked in strip malls and other lots with no official contractor. Can't believe I'm going to say this, but I think we actually found somebody who has got worse hair than Dumbwaiter, Goat Boy, or Lana. Wow. Permission to boot them. You're in the store for about 20 minutes. Yes. Next thing you know, the car's got a big yellow boot on it. Yes. LaToya Forrester, a stroke victim, got booted in Joliet while parked in a strip mall spot reserved for drivers with disabilities. You're the victim of a scam. Yes, yes. The victims say Char demands cash on the spot. This is criminal, this is theft. They stole $190 from me. James, I'm Dave Savini from Channel 2. There are allegations that you've been booting people all across the Chicago area. The two investigators dug into James Chart's booting operation and found the self-proclaimed boot bandit charged 50 grand in fines in suburban Lansing alone this summer. Sounds like one of dumbwaiters go fund me, doesn't it? He also allegedly left a trail of boot victims in Chicago, Berwyn, Bridgeview, Forest Park, Bolingbrook, Naperville, Joliet, Markham, and Madison. This is like uh, getting robbed without a gun. Tom Leone and Therese Blank got booted while eating dinner at a Lansing restaurant. How much are they charging? 190 bucks. They claim that you're preying on people. What do you have to say about this? He charged truckers even bigger fine. How much did he want to get that boot off? $1,000. But in all seriousness, if you do live in freaking Illinois, be on the lookout for this kind of garbage. Jamari Stewart says Chard is a con man who needs to be imprisoned, claiming Chard hung signs up after Stewart parked and walked away from his rig. And if I didn't give it to him, he was going to tow it, and it was going to be 2000 1000 for the tow and 1000 for the boot. This is wrong. Lansing police agreed, and during our CBS2 investigation, they arrested Chard on multiple felonies and said he hung signs in lots he had no right to. Police confiscated his signs, receipts, and booting devices. Now, here's my problem, is booting someone's vehicle. That seems to me like something only a police officer or a company that is specifically contracted by the city or whatever the entity is, whatever jurisdiction, county, etc. That really seems like that should be something that's that just because you got a business license don't mean you can go around extorting people like this. You did this to a woman with a disability. What kind of person does that to anyone, let alone someone who's got a disability? Obviously a person that has no conscience. Chard has been doing this for several years, say police. He is due in court next month. For years? He made 50 G's off of that garbage just in the one year. If he was doing that for several years, Dude couldn't buy some hair plugs? Shit. And I know that's not what we normally, you know, cover, but I just, 
just the balls on some people. I mean, just the brazenness of some people. And I really wanted you guys to see this. Anyway, guys, uh, it's Wrangler. I'm out of here. I love y'all. Have a good one.